Welcome to Dr. Jester Runs, and I'm gonna rant about this. Retarded Games Journalist. Retard alert! Retard alert! Games Radar Plus. Something similar akin to Kotaku. Or Polygon. RPC Gamer. Right. I can't believe God of War fans are casting Triple H as live-action Kratos when Christopher George is right there. <laughs> Right, before I uh, rant about a retarded nonsense, here's a word from my sponsor. Right, so we are dealing here with a specific type of retard because, after all, it's a games journalist, a guy who has failed everything in life and still managed to land on top with a very cozy wage for doing absolutely nothing worth that money. But then again, Mr. Dustin, let's go and talk about your retarded comment. It's all about the game and how you adapt it. <laughs> right. God of Wonder Fires, fans are making their casting for live-action adaptation of the series while some are pulling from the world of wrestling for Kratos. The actor who plays him in the game would beg to differ. Look, the actor who does his voice, but... No, 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 remember. Remember the casting choices of many, many TV shows and games in which they, they actually had to cancel the original actor doing the voice of a black character or an Asian character was white so they actually had to go on and recast those characters with an Asian or a black character because it does not match their race remember those? Shadow Warrior, uh, X-Men <clears throat> and uh, a few others was it He-Man? Masters of the Universe 2? or am I confused? either way, remember those shows and games and stuff like that? Well, this one, Kratos, a Greek guy, an actual white dude, Caucasian, Mediterranean, not a sub-Saharan African, is voiced by a black guy. Do I have a problem with it? No, not even a tiny little bit. That's why I'm not adding it to my woke washing list. Because when you do a voiceover, it's just your voice. It's not your face in there. You're not race swapping anything, it's just your voice. So that is completely fine. So if a white guy is doing a voiceover of an Asian dude or a Japanese Korean dude, no problem with me. A black guy doing the voiceover of a Japanese or a Korean guy or Chinese, whatever, no problem. A black guy doing the voice of a white dude, no problem. A Korean Japanese guy doing the voice of a white dude, also no problem. But it obviously has a problem with the woke world, if a white dude does the opposite, you know. A black guy, well, you know. But, but, Christopher Judge is an excellent, absolutely excellent actor. He did an amazing joke. It was, <clears throat> fuck me, I think he was one of my favorite characters in Stargate SG-1. 
Teal'c because the actor is full of charisma. His voice, his acting was impeccable. Impeccable. I'm pretty sure he would do a great Kratos, but his look uh, doesn't quite match the character. So since acting, doing a TV show or a movie is a goddamn cat fur. Is a very, very visual medium. I don't think his locks will actually kind of fit the character. I am sorry. It's just what it is. So, especially because uh, if it was the other way around, if Kratos was black and a white dude doing it, this guy here would be freaking the shit out. He would be shitting everywhere. It would be like he had diarrhea from eating a bad chili con carne and shitting everywhere. That's how bad he would be shitting. But here we are. As one fan says on Twitter, why is everyone saying that Triple H or Braun Strowman are one of the perfect choices for Kratos in live action project when Christopher George is literally fucking God of War? Mm -mm, it's like we... <laughs> well, first and foremost, suck my god, you fucking deliciously cute cock. Right. Judge responded to that tweet with a simple message, cosign. Yeah, sure, dude, sure. But once again, his voice, everything. Perfect. It just doesn't match because Greeks are Caucasians. They are considered white people, like people from North Africa, all the Europe and everything else. Caucasians also include Arabs. Yes, they are considered white as well. And extending to Pakistanis and Indians. Yeah, they are Caucasians, just with a darker skin color. That's it. That's all there is to it. Right. Judge responded to a tweet with a simple message. Uh, also, screen actor best role for Stargate. Uh, he's buff as hell, yeah. Triple H has been a popular fan casting for Kratos for some time, and he is more than extremely buff. That with a beard look matches the character quite well. He's also a long standing interest in looking at his step off of the cover of a metal album. I don't give a shit. By well, he looks as good as a comparison shot against Kratos. Have you ever seen Triple H try to do serious dramatic acting? If you haven't, you do not want to. Sure, but his looks is what matters quite considerably in a visual medium. I'm pretty sure you could take acting classes if you want that, or you could actually cast somebody else to go and play the Kratos character, someone that matches more his looks than Christopher Judge. You wouldn't uh, want the guy who does the voiceover for The Witcher to play The Witcher, would you? Because the guy who does the, vo the voiceover for Witcher, for The Witcher game, doesn't necessarily quite match the visuals of the actual Witcher. Which is why Henry Cavill was cast and now Liam Hemsworth is being cast. But idiots like this idiot here don't quite seem to understand the basics of everything else. Right. While the first tweet mentions Braun Strowman, he doesn't seem to have been nearly as widely fun cast for Kratos as Triple H. Strowman has done some mean Kratos Halloween costume over the years, but it's debatable whether he even turns it in believable speaking performances as a wrestler, never mind an actual actor. The one knock people seems to be making against Judge uh, playing Kratos is that he is not white. And here it is, somebody who failed at history and biology. Well, no wonder he failed at all of those things, because he actually probably believes that there is non-binary and more than two genders. He's probably one of those idiots who actually believes that um, once you change your political, political affiliation, you change your DNA or some other nonsense like that. And that history is not actual history and you should revise it. These are type of idiots that we are dealing with. So be prepared, your head is going to explode. Right, let's go. Because not white, and folks, I gotta remind you, Kratos ain't, ain't white either! He's a Greek man who's played by a black man since the original God of War in 2005. And you're gonna forget about his skin color real fast when he's covered in the ashes of his dead family anyway! Yeah. You saw the type 
of idiotic moron he is. He is white because he's Greek. Greek are white people. Caucasians. Christopher Judge is sub-Saharan Africa. Especially during that time. I'm not even going to talk about the race swaps of the gods and things like that they made in the game for the retarded demographic that doesn't purchase this type of games. What I'm talking about is that Sub-Saharan Africa was not in communications with um, Europe or the Mediterranean during that time. Because there was a big, fat, huge, tiny little thing called the desert, called Sahara Desert, blocking and prohibiting the access of Sub-Saharan Africans to the rest of Europe and Europe to the rest of Africa. And we didn't have the technology to have the trap. So, on that historical lesson and biological lesson, have a great fucking night on that goddamn hell. Fucking hell, have a great fucking night. I botched my auto. Eh, it's usual.